All right, Chris D from PC Addicts here. Got a just bought a uh, trying it out sort of. Just bought a um, Asus Aspire One uh, D250. It's got one gig of RAM. It's got uh, an Intel Atom 1.6 gigahertz processor. I'm pretty sure that's the specs on it. Uh, single core. I just just uh, last night I dual booted it. I just partitioned the drive so I kept the XP home that's on there just for whatever reason, and put um, uh, Windows 7 RC1 on the other partition. And Windows 7 runs fine by default. Um, me, because I prefer a little bit faster responses, and I had to. Uh, I didn't have to, but I I uh, kind of slimmed down some of the visual effects. But I still have Arrow, and I still have um, all the translucent or transparent. Uh, taskbar and stuff on there uh, things are working good uh, what I wanted to show you real quick um, is how well this thing remotes into other computers on this computer up here with my two monitors it's it's uh, Windows 7 RC1 as well 64-bit and I'm gonna remote into that computer even though it's got dual screens and everything I'm gonna remote into it from this this little tiny 10 point what is it 10 point two inch screen or I don't even know but anyways Windows 7 into Windows 7. So I'm going to go MSTSC, enter. Uh, I'm going to use the IP address. Um, this computer isn't part of the domain. Even though all the other computers in my house are part of the domain, this netbook is not right now. So I'm just going to use the IP address, even though it should be using the same DNS server that um, resolves all these PCs here. So pop in my password. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. I need to go use another account. I need to put in my domain using the credentials. Uh, there we go. It's just saying, hey, it's it's. Uh, you sure you want to remote into this thing? There we go. You can see the screens up there just turned black. It says Control Delete to log on, and here we go. Here's what was on the dual screens over there. I got um, there. I guess I can. And just leave it. Uh, got a Windows Explorer. Got WinFF, a file co uh, video converter program. Here's my Outlook 2007 that was up over there. There's my uh, XChat from PCAddicts.tv. And um, works quite well. I can minimize that. And now I'm back on Windows 7 on this one. And, or I can go back in there and remote in and do all my stuff. What's nice about it, what I'm really happy with, is the fact that. Windows is, it does a very good job on sizing the resolution, sizing the screen. So as I'm remoted into those that dual monitor setup there, um, I don't have to scroll or anything to get to the taskbar on that machine. It automatically sets it. Now, I don't have the right screen on this one. I could try using the, the slash span option on the MSTSC command, but I haven't tried that yet. I'll probably save that for another video. But And now I'll just go ahead and uh, close back out of that. Log back in on my main computer, and uh, there we are. We're back, back in business. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.